Hey, all about fishing with Big Kev. Hey, we're down in the basement this afternoon on a Saturday and uh, got the Sauber boys down here. And when they were little, they got this little tackle box. What was that two days ago? Yeah. Well, today we got them a seven tray, and so we're going to build them a real man's tackle box. So we thought we'd make a video. So we're going to start by emptying out this little one. So you guys want to. Put it where you want it. Here's your tools. Okay, tools. Where do, where do we put the so tools? what we want to do is we want to make a tray for like catfish. We want a spinner tray, a jig tray. Tools and stuff usually go in the bottom with the bobbers. Okay. And uh, we'll build this up something. So the bobbers in the bottom, you said? Yep. So here's your bobbers. You want to put those in the bottom. This usually lives in the bottom of a tackle box. There's another one for the bottom. So we'll see what you got. Okay, here's some weights. So weights we can put like in the bottom too, I guess, since they're in bags. There's some more. Those we'll put in the bottom. Here's another pair of pliers. Oh my gosh. The stringer. Where do we put the stringer? Put it in the bottom. Okay, so we're going to make a jig. Make a jig shelf. So we'll make one of these, maybe this top one with jigs. So we'll put, so we'll try to keep kind of the same color jigs in the same shelves, kind of close. They don't have to be exact. So that's one. Let's see what we got over here. black ones, there's some yellow ones, there's some yellow and black, what else we got? We got all kinds here, got some green. Oh dear, this color matches those. It doesn't. Yeah, that's the exact same. Alright, so, oh, no. hang on a minute. So, Boys call this their Walmart. We leave an empty hook up there because Walmart always has an empty hook. <laughs> so we'll open these up. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep them in the wrapper. Take them off the card. That way we got very little trash out of the lake. So we'll keep a, a yellow pile. Do five per slot. So there's five yellers. That's yellow and yellow. These are your marabou jigs. These are great for like bass, crappie, about anything really. Walleye like them, catfish like them, drum like them. Wesley loves catching drums. He's my drum man. Wesley's only got one wing because he broke his finger playing football. So he kind of handicapped. <laughs> they went fishing in San Diego, was it? Yeah. You guys caught some fish out of the ocean down there with a guide, didn't you? Yeah, yep. So now, so now Reed has changed his profession from heart surgeon to pro fisherman. So congrats to him on that. All right, we got all white yet? Uh, we have white and pink. No, all well, that's once you hang these back on the shelf or on the hooks back over there. On Walmart? Oh, put them back in the Walmart stock. Oh, 
Christian. That's Walmart stud. There's staples in it. Yeah, on the bags. Yeah, there's staples in those. There you go. So we're trying to get them outfitted up. They just went down to the city pond today to try to catch some stuff. Yeah, but you still went fishing, didn't you? Mm -hmm. There you go, some black ones. So that ought to be about every color. Wes, you can put these back on the shelf. So later on we're going to do a video on uh, Lance Electronics, we'll do another one, pull these out of the boat and uh, anybody's curious how big a 7 and a 9 is compared to each other, there you go, that's a 7 on the bottom and a 9 on the top. But uh, we've got three of them we're going to do this, the uh, software upgrade on, I've downloaded it to a micro SD card. So. We'll work on that. All right, now we need to get a, a spinner tray. We'll put a couple of those on. Three. Couple of those. Oh, One of those. Couple of those. Oh, are you take them out of the packages? Well, what I would do is I would rip the package off right like that. Okay. Then stack them somewhere. Put your trash in the trash can. Like 18. That way you got some spinners. Everybody's got to have a road runner. This is a spinner slash jig. These are some awesome lures. Road runners are. I don't know if anybody knows what a road runner is, but they're a little little jig with a spinner on it. Excellent lure for just about anything. Bass, crappie, anything will bite the Roadrunner. So this is a Roadrunner pile. tray somewhere. That's all right. Just put the plastic as trash. Oh, there's I need to be careful because there's hooks in there. So just take them out of the package now. So, we'll start a tray for catfish. So I'm going to give you several different hooks. So you're going to have to be careful. These are, these are the dough ball hooks. I don't know if you all know or seen these before. For like dough balls. See how they got that spring around them? That spring helps hold that dough ball on the uh, on the hook when you're casting it or while it's sitting in the water kind of helps that mushy dough ball stay on there so we'll put some of them in there and then uh, we'll give you some of these bigger hooks oh those look like sharks There's some size one and some size four. Yummy, 
What's that there? That'd be a good setup for you. Get them open. There's some of those. Let's see what else. So we're going to have to do some floating head jig or hooks. I use these almost religiously. Uh, catfish and walleye. Walleye love floating head hook. Styrofoam head hook. Uh, use it with worms. When you set your weight, this will kind of suspend that, that worm off the bottom a little bit instead of dragging the bottom. And, and we did really, really well with these this year out at uh, Milford on blue cat, cats, wipers. So we did real good with these. take this tray and we're going to make what they call crankbaits. So the old rattle trap, that's a good one. This is what they call this. It's a two-piece body, treble hook, swimmer, deep diver. Where'd you get that? I stepped on it. Stepped on it at the lake and found it, huh? Yep. Flicker shad, flicker shad's always been a really good, really good uh, crankbait. You can get them open. Everything comes with chalk proof wrappers now for some reason. But every time you buy something, you better either have a pocket knife in your pocket or buy a pocket knife with it. There's flicker shad. What's your name, Michelle? Uh, once you guys start bringing me my tackle trays, and we'll look through those. Oh, here's some more. Of the... All right. Let's we'll start a crappie lure. Little crappie plastics, different kinds. Everybody has to have a spoon. Spoons are really good. We'll put that over here with the spinners. Want some brown jigs? Yeah. Looks like one. Okay, set this. Over there, out of the way, by the. Give me another one. Let's do this. Okay. These here, folks, are crappie stopper jigs. Crappiestopperjigs.com is one of my pro, pro staff for crappie stopper jigs. These are all hand tied jigs. A gentleman by the name of Kim Burnett in Kansas City does these individually. I'll tell you what. There's not a more quality jig in the world than crappie stopper jigs. So these are all handmade guys. Every one of these was made independently by a guy I know. And uh, we'll give you an assortment of colors. So if you, if you hook a tree or something with those, you're gonna have to get in the water and swim and go get it. Cause we don't want to lose those. All right, give me another bag, box. Starting to get expensive toolbox there, yeah. or tackle box. You've got flicker, flicker shads already, don't you? Yep. So put that down on the floor. That's a conglomerate of everything, and I'll just give you that whole tray. I think you 
you guys got spoons. Here's another type of spinner. Curly tails, curly tails, these are great lures. Little curly tails, plastics. Put them somewhere. Is this designated to a certain fish? Well, bass love those. There's a couple larger beetle spans. Big ones. Big ones. Go big or go home, huh? Yeah, yeah. Big old deep diver, wallers, crankbaits. Oh Rattle traps. There you go. You guys are going to make my boat a lot lighter. <laughs> it's going to go faster on the lake, huh? Yeah, here's some more crappie stopper jigs. Excellent jigs. I mean, look at that. Look at the, look at the detail on that. Look at that sparkle. Oh, wow. And he made them all by hand. Isn't that a beautiful jig? CrappieStopperJig.com. You guys can have that whole tray, but it ain't gonna fit in your tackle box. We'll figure something out. Put that one with it. We have to get you a small, soft side to carry your bat. Put Alright, so this goes on your crappie, crappie side. It's crappie. Yeah. There's some more road runners. Some more road runners, some more crappie. Runners. Crappie. Crappie, all of those are crappie. Oh, but which one Wait, crappie? but the brown ones are road runners. Oh, but which ones are crappie? They're all crappie. There's some heads with some spinners on them. Some more heads. Some more heads. Did you make this one? Should have been there, yes. Alright, set that over there and give me another one. You guys are going to have a $500 tackle box when it's all said and done. These are long. So these are top water. And these stay on top of the water and make a lot of noise and bass will tear them up. Here. Yeah. So there's all kinds in here. So there you go. So anyway, we just wanted to do a little video today and have the boys involved with it, making their new tackle box. We went over to the store and got this today, and uh, Papa gets a, a small allowance every week and the grandkids absorb it. So you guys get you some weights, whatever you want, find you a tray and put them in there. Uh, we need like which one should we be? Bolt heads, we need bolt heads. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we get ready, should we get this one? You guys still got that whole tray on the bottom here. Here, 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 here. Give you another, we're gonna get one of those. So anyway, check out the videos, folks, all about fishing with Big Cav. 
like I said, we're loading up the grandkids with a new tackle box. Get these kids out early in the young age, let them learn how to fish. I'll tell you, some of them catch on to it real quick. Some of them are dedicated. And uh, believe it or not, the little girls pretty much outfish the little boys. They got more patience. Boys always want to toss rocks. Toss rocks. But anyway, check out the videos. Appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe. All about fishing with Big Cap. We'll see you on the water.